I was about to process and mix one of Enrico's track, Enrico Hoover. He's one of our label artists. He's regularly released now under Mercurial Tones. The idea was simply I help him mix and process the vocals in his latest track. It's a really cool track, by the way. You will get to hear a little bit. And actually, I started doing it and I, in the middle of it, I, I decided like, yeah, that was a question that everybody was asking on the channel. So why not just record it while I'm doing it so that you can actually hear before and after and you may also see some of the techniques that I use it could be helpful for you or if you have never done it you can also see the different uh, stages of doing it this is the way I do it this is especially for I would say techno and house vocals I wouldn't even call it vocals but it's more like a uh, break talks uh, that you often hear this type of tracks so let's start doing it this may take a bit of time but I will try to make it easier to follow on the editing stage so let's take a look remember Time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white wall will shine bright. Like the full moon on a clear night. So when I received the file or the stems, actually, it was just this guy here, the old one, like I mentioned it, and this was only one take. So when I do this type of things, I really want to have more than one take so that I can actually take a look each part of each take, see which part is the best so that I can mix them together or I can pick between them. And the other ones that I'm not using it, maybe I can just pen a little bit around or... Uh, I can tune them up and down and use them as like auxiliary vocals as well. So it, that was my idea. So I received all these different texts and this is how it starts. So this is called vocal comping. Basically, you just try to align them, them like this, right? And then you try to pick the one that you think is the best. And then you just make a one single, Remember. Oh, sorry, one single take with it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So before we start, I can also show you or make you listen to the part that we are adding the vocal. This is, like I said, just a Enrico talking. And this is the part we are blending in. This is the, the break of the track. So take a look. So quite an epic break and the vocal will sound like this. Let me show you the one. This one, for example, could be nice. Uh, let me see. Let's do it this way. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to align all the vocals uh, and then we are going to take it from there. So to make it easier for myself, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to add a locator so that I have that line right over there. I'm going to align all the vocals starting point there. And I'm going to put a line for every part that I want to use the vocal. So I have like a four different parts or five different parts on this one, I think. Just showing me where I should put the vocals and then I start picking them up from that point. So I will probably just edit this part out because it will take too much time. But you will see what's happening when I complete it. So I just aligned the vocals. Uh, by the way, this is just the first part. You see that the the breaks in between different takes or different pieces are different. But the most important thing for me is just start here. Then we decide where we are going to put each pieces. I would like to just follow the one that I have here. It's kind of example how we used it. So we are going to do it the similar way so that I follow his uh, placement so that I don't come up with my own placement. But at least we have these different takes that we can pick from. Some of them looks quite different from others or a bit louder, a bit less louder. You can always, of course, compensate it like this, right? You can just pull it up and down to make it look a bit more alike so that you are not fooled by the volume level, but you are actually trying to pick 
the best one that is available. So what we are going to do now, take a look at the each piece and see which one actually sounds best at the beginning. Remember, remember, remember. This one is gone. We can just delete this because I think there is something wrong with the recording. So next one. Remember. The same thing here as well, I think. Few million years. Exactly. Let's take that off. Remember. Remember. Sounds good. Remember. Good. Remember. 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 I think all all of them are good to start with. I probably like it. Remember. This one. So what I'm going to do now, just place like each phrase is in the exact position and I will try to make it like on top of here we will make a main up and then we are gonna continue from there so I will just place everything every each face is in the each correct position here now all right I think it's quite easy to see now what I did basically you see that I have these lines this is why I'm more or less the points that I actually aligned vocals because I want those like phrases right on that spot more or less and I just align everything so that I can quickly go through each take and I decide I can decide which one I actually want to be mained up I'm going to carry the mained up over here and once we pick the mained up then we can actually kind of tune them if it is needed in those in this phrase style vocals it shouldn't be needed but I think if it is a bit too off we still then need to probably tune a little bit but now what I'm going to do Go each one of those and try to come up with the best take, if that makes sense. All right, now I've just completed the dubbing. So these are the, the first line over here. Let me just do it this way so that you don't need to see other guys. Let me do it this way. This one is the one that I picked, I think, the, the best uh, take. As you can see, there are different colors, meaning that they're coming from different channels. And it sounds like this. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf will shine bright like the full. So there are a couple of things there that is problem with these takes or the all of them. Basically, I heard that I can clearly hear kind of the gate opening and closing kind of. We have to solve that issue. Probably we can use some low cut and try to figure out exact that gate opening closing part. And of course, the loudness levels are not the same, even though we did it like a bit manually. We have to do a bit carefully now. And then the tune of the, some of those are not exactly the same. We may need to tune a bit up and down depending on how we feel. Like really uh, sand tuning, not really heavy tuning to make it like a bit more coherent. So what I'm going to do now, basically manually just try to adjust the volumes. Uh, the easiest way to do that, if you don't know, if you don't have anything else, you can either put a loof limiter or I will just in this case, I'm thinking leaning more towards like a pro -L so that I can see the over the levels and then yeah fix them manually again I will do it manually I like doing this type of manually just to make it like a smoother from the beginning to end all right the vocals are a bit compressed now the super low end is gone and I also play a little bit with the this length and the faders a little bit or the fading and fade out so it should be also smoother and actually if I play it it will sound like this remember our time is finite in a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. It's also sound a bit more uh, coherent now because the dynamic is similar and then tuning is there as well. I can still consider some of them like tuning a bit more. I just felt like this one, for example, let's try one more time. Here. There's pure darkness and no light. Yeah. The thing that, the, that I'm missing at the moment is actually DSC. For this one, I'm going to just use Pro DS because you can clearly hear these s, s sounds. I think there was one. In a few million years. Here we go. In a few million years. In a few million years. There's pure darkness. And no light. Only the white dwarf. Let's oversample this. In a few million years. There's pure darkness. And no light. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. In a few million years, 
yeah much better like uh, especially there was like a, that one single s just too bright for my ears so that one is done once you get to this stage like everything is a bit smoother what i think i could still do is actually compress even a bit more just because these are the like not regular vocals these are the phrases that so i want this phrase to be like a really stronger and so on what i would like to do now because i'm going to experiment a little bit i'm going to keep this one i can turn this off but i'm gonna kind of consolidate this and have one single shot and tune it down a little bit and see if I can give this more kind of darker techno vibe to it. Remember. Remember. Our time is short. Sure. We are going to definitely use the Complex Pro probe for this one, probably. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there is pure darkness and no light. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there is pure darkness and no light. Finite. In a few million years. Remember. 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 Our time is finite. Okay, now we take a look again. This is more like a take note, this dark vocals, I will say, and it sounds like this now. Remember. Our time is finite. I'm playing with the track so that you can actually feel this dark, dark vibe into it. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white wall will shine bright. Like the full moon on a clear night. In a few million years, there's pure darkness. In a few we can definitely boost some in a few million years there's pure darkness and no light only the white dwarf so the first part of creating main dub is more or less there uh, again we could have that more we could slightly distort it which I'm going come gonna come back later on and the other thing that is missing here is probably now adding the sides like uh, this is just a mono vocal you can make it like uh, either using the other takes and push them on the sides or you can take this one and detune it slightly on the both sides and pan it around and create this uh, uh, vocal pants so what i'd like to do most of in case because we have all these stops you can just utilize another one to get this like a different take feel to it so i'm gonna try that one first so let's say these guys are fine or let me try this one first so let's copy this one we can call them main dumb right and main dumb left or we can just call it main right and left this one will be really subtle i will say what i'm going to do you see this one the original one is already like detuned a little bit so what i'm going to do probably push this a bit down like this quite a bit and then i'm going to probably put the utility and then put one this one to do left so from the balance you push it like a bit to the left and this will be a volume remember down. let's play this one and play this one and see how it sounds remember our time is finite we can do one more thing to make it even more interesting we can push it slightly here so that even the phase are not same like that remember our time is finite in a few million years there's pure darkness and no light. And then I'm going to do the similar thing. Again, I'm aiming to do slightly different each time to make it like a bit really different. So in this case, we are going to go up all the way somewhere here probably. And then we are going to push this a bit here. And then take the utility push it to the right 
Let's take also 25 person here. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. The other thing that I'm considering now, I don't really want this super lows to the side, so I'm gonna cut these guns a bit more aggressively, like maybe somewhere around here. Both of them. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. It almost gives this kind of chorus effect again without it, if I take them off. Remember. 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 And now I'm going to group these ones and call them the... So at this part I like to actually distort them together, like uh, what you can do, put an exciter for example, like this, from the ozone if you want a bit more subtle vocal crispiness here. Remember. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure dark. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. There's pure darkness. 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 So basically, sorry for just repeating all the time. Uh, basically, we try to get a bit like slightly more aggressive, slightly more gritty sound. So let me solo here so that you can hear when I bypass it. So let's do it this way. In a few million years, in a few million years, in a few million years, there's pure darkness. 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 Again, you can definitely give some more distortion if you wish to for the moment at the moment i will keep this way simple uh the things that are missing here of course other type of uh, effects like the reverbs and the delays to give this ambience before i do that i will just make sure that i have also the sides that is actually not it doesn't need to be sided we can also put them in the middle but i want to have this kind of more let's say really really uh, transpose vocals down and up and for that purposes i'm thinking now utilizing someone else here just picking one of those and aligning properly and then just using it i think this one was the one of the clean stakes so i will probably just use it again i just want to differentiate it so that it doesn't feel like we are using the same vocals over and over again so i will probably take this one take a look at this one and see if that will work and then we are going to take it from there so I just like really aligned the, the third, fourth vocal and it is it's, uh, it is like this. And if I play it without it, remember, remember, it's just one additional layer, just boosting the volume a little bit. But the purpose of this one, actually, I'm going to consolidate this like this and I'm going to tune it down and up. Tuning down means that actually I'm going to tune this down, like I start with transposing to minus 12. So one octave below the origin sound, this will sound really dark and let's go for the complex pro and i'm gonna actually put the volume really down as well we can start with in the middle maybe we can push around a little bit slightly to the left and right depending on what we want to do but let's just play it let's play around maybe here and then try to mix it in in a few million years 
There's pure darkness in a few million years. 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 There's pure darkness. It's almost like a bass guitar, actually. You can hear this all the low end on top. Uh, but I'm gonna, of course, cut a bit there. In a few million years. There's pure darkness. In a few million years. There's pure darkness. If we saw this guy alone. In a few million years. There's pure darkness. But we can do, take a one more look here and maybe play with the four months a little bit. Remember. 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 Making a bit more like machine. Remember. Remember. Let's play together with the origin sound again. Remember. 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 Something like this. And I'm going to copy this one exactly the way it is. But this time we are going to push it down all the way up. And take a look at this one now. Play with the four months again. Here around I think it feels like almost another person is talking and I'm gonna open this one a little bit more and maybe probably do something like this. Together with the other guy. Remember. 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 You see the result, it's like really strong vocal, like the phrase, like remember, it's like a, almost, I will say, somebody from Lord of the Rings, like one of those big guys are talking about. And this is exactly what I'm going for this track, like give this really mm, strong vocals, like the phases, so that when I play this together with the track, then we can definitely feel the power and the space of the each phrase. So let's play with the track again. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. It's like a uh, really, really nice. I will say I will be done here. What we can do definitely, definitely like uh, let's group them to do the octaves. You can definitely compress them, especially in a group and so on. But as there levels are quite low you can keep this like a, just a flavor like a different dynamic range and maybe compress complete group right over here total like a vocal group could be even more interesting maybe even put a distortion top of there like another exciter maybe it depends what you want to do like again at the moment i will keep it this way probably to see how it behaves with the effects and delays and so on because i have to put a really fat reverb on top of this like a really ambient reverb probably and then a bit delay as well to give really this big ambience to the sound because this uh break part is really quite ambient so what i'm going to do now gonna get a reverb i feel like valhalla vintage reverb is a good choice here so what i'm going to do grab this guy over here put there and just Gonna test the borders now, just play around a bit the like just on the group to see how it behaves again with the track if the ambience is passing in because it's really important that you get the right reverb. So I'm gonna just play around now. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. 
in a few million years. Just remember. 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 Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Remember. Our time is finite. Remember. Our remember. Remember. Our time remember. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness. I feel like this reverb is fine. So what I'm going to do do a couple of these takes so I want to really a B stuff because it's, everything is relative right you feel like uh, this is a nice reverb but then you can do another reverb and it could sound a bit better and you may be not aware of it so I'm gonna do like I can this is one of my secret trick like just put two three four and try to find the best one relatively for this one I'm gonna just go for the let's say kind of uh, rooms or big holes and so on Okay, we are gonna do some A-B testing now. We are gonna go for, I'm almost feeling that the second reverb, we can make a room and room. Like we added a little bit of this one. So the, cle the dry vocal becomes light wet vocal. And then we send actually that vocal into the reverb. Something like that. So let's try. Remember. Remember. Our time is finite. Like this one could be, we can maybe decrease like this. Remember. Our time is finite. Remember. Remember. Our time is finite. In a few million years. Like using this one like a small room reverb and then probably adding one of these guys on top. Remember. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Remember, our time is finite. Because these are really big reverbs, I'm gonna use them on the big hole here. I'm gonna send it there. Just delay this guy. Remember, remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness. We can start here and I'm going to actually listen to the original track and see how it sounds everything like with the track because it, it doesn't really matter how good it sounds itself it has to sound good together with the track remember our time is finite in a few million years there's pure darkness and no light only the white wall In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white wall. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Our time is finite. In a few million years, the Our time is finite. Our time is finite. Our time.
time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness. I would like to try to equal with the original uh, vocals and I'm still not 100% sure about the actually the reverb I can still change it and one final thing is actually the the delay so oftentimes you may also consider like having a big delay on top of that and then play it around there I will just start with the regular ping pong and see if we can take it if it works at least to start with so I'm gonna use again the uh, original vocals, send it there, and then we can take it from there again. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf. Remember, our time is finite. In a few million years, there's pure darkness and no light. Only the white dwarf will shine bright. I think we are getting there quite close. Uh, the other additional thing that you can definitely do here, actually they're using distortions and actually mixing a bit better on the track at the moment. Uh, track has not providing any space to the vocals, so I would definitely think like uh, side chaining into the vocals, uh, at least at some of these guys, like probably the lead sound or the pet sound so that we have enough space, but that is another uh, video story. Otherwise this will, the video will be too long. I will skip that part but I will probably do it. Then I think the important thing over here that we could have considered that I haven't done it yet, making some reverse vocals leading into the important parts. Like if I take a look at here, I will say if I take this guy, uh, let's listen to here maybe. Only the white dwarf. So I can definitely consider like uh, create just here, resample and I solo it like this and I'm gonna do it probably just like this. I will take it back just for the sake of getting that part right. I'm going this way. Probably that's enough. Let's try. Only the will shine bright. Oh, that one we don't need. Let's do it this way. One more time. Only the should be enough. Let's take these guys back again. Just like that. You can also, if you don't want to see these things, you can just do like this as well. And this one should be sounding only the, like this. We're going to reverse this like that. And we're going to lead into the kind of the vocal over here. So if I... Only the white I think it's a bit too long. Let's shorten this up. And probably something like this. Let's try one more time. 
Putting only the white dwarf. Putting only the white dwarf. Putting only the white dwarf. Let's listen together a bit. Probably it's a bit too loud. Let's tune it down. Putting only the white dwarf. Putting only the white dwarf. It sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. It really depends on the vibe that you're going for. But let's try this and see how it sounds. Only the white dwarf. I think it's just fine. Uh, only the white dwarf. Maybe even a bit longer. A bit louder as well. Only the white dwarf. Shine right. Yeah, I think I will do it more. But I'm really hungry, so I have to cut this video here. But you get the overall idea. I think this is quite close to being completed. The thing that I will probably continue here, maybe I add in the end, have it sound in the end. Probably add a couple of these, probably here, because I have a big break here, so I can lead in. And I have another big break here, I can lead in there as well. I may change the reverb. Uh, I may change the delay, but the idea will be more the same, having this whole reverb to give this big ambience. And yeah. And I think probably, probably a bit slight distortion as well, if I need like uh, a bit more. But I think rather than adding distortion, I would prefer side chaining to the pads and so on, so that we give a little bit of space to the vocals when we are playing it. But other than that, I will end up this now, and I'm going to eat a little bit, and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.